Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. This is the official post fight review for Ryan Garcia versus Balio Rodriguez on the Canelo undercard. Canelo Rocky Fielding undercard at Madison Square Garden. Ryan Garcia uh, scores an impressive uh, sixth round TKO. Sixth round, right? sixth round TKO? Fifth round TKO over Balio uh, Balio Rodriguez. You know, really, really, really awkward, tough. Um, Dominican fighter, the veteran fighter. Interesting fight for Ryan because, you know, him being 20, him being someone that's had his fair share of struggles and seen different things in the ring so young in his career. This is a fight that uh, I think was good. It's good for him. You, know, you had a guy in Brawley Rodriguez who was super awkward. You know, he was Andrew golada the hell out of him, punching him in the, in the nuts repeatedly. Um, and aside from that, you know, he was just super, like, awkward. You know, it, 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 awkward is not even the word. He's showboating he's doing the whole fight night winding up thing he's doing the ali shuffle he's winging really wide shots that are just missing by this much but if they land would do some damage you know but hold on this is they're not the decision this isn't decision round number five referee ron lipton reaches the count of ten winner by ko se mantiene rey invito and still undefeated king ron Ryan Garcia! Sensational New York City debut for Ryan Garcia. So they have Ryan Garcia, fifth round TKO uh, over Braulio Rodriguez. Um, Chris Mann is going to interview him. Let's hear what Chris Mann is going to say to Ryan Garcia. It means some more interesting things will be said here. the distance in your last two fights. How much were you looking for something spectacular tonight? First, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for keeping me calm. I want to thank my trainer, Eddie Reynoso. I want to thank my dad, my family, and everybody that supported me this fight. Um, I wasn't looking for the knockout because a lot of people tell me, you know, I don't know if this could, could fight. You know, I, I just see skills on Instagram. So I wanted to show them that I can fight and I am for real. You didn't go rushing in after that first knockdown. You took your time. You also got hit with a few low blows during the course of that fight. How difficult was it to keep your composure? That was the main thing coming in. We knew from the weigh-ins when he pushed me that he would try to, you know, maybe intimidate me. I think that's what he was trying to do. But I came in here, I was like, that's not going to happen. You mentioned the Reynosos, Eddie Reynoso, your trainer for this fight. What impact did they have in your first fight with them? Man, uh, I can't thank them enough. They took me in like family. They treated me good. I don't speak Spanish, but we connected beautifully. I'm telling you, I may not speak Spanish, but I got the Mexican blood in me, and that's not all that matters. You are Viva Mexico! Let's go! Lastly, Ryan, you are a work in progress, of course. You're young. What kind of fights are you ready for in 2019? You know, when I was first coming up, I made the mistake thinking, you know, when I was knocking everybody out, I could conquer the world. But now I know it's a process, and I'm just going to trust my team, my coach, and everybody, my family, and we'll go from there. But like I said, I'm not scared of nobody. Let's bring it. You certainly know your fan support travels. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. I appreciate every one of you guys. New York, what's up? Let's go. Ryan? All right, so there you have Ryan Garcia. That's the thing. Uh, He's obviously very spirited in his uh, post fight review. But now he made an interesting point, saying that you know, composure. That was the probably the one. To, if there was a takeaway from this fight, the composure from Ryan Garcia, the fact that he had a guy in, in there that was uh, showboarding, that was awkward, that was hitting him in his dick constantly, um, and that was just he was there to you know, for what for better or for worse, fight his fight. And Ryan may make a pose. Ryan was able to pick the right shots from the outside. Ryan, once he got him hurt in the fifth round, uh, he showed the ability to finish. And, and albeit it wasn't against you know no world beater or world class contender, it was you still in these fights when you fight the lesser opposition. When you get the guys hurt, you need to show the ability to finish. So that's a good sign for him um, early in his career. You know, obviously there was a lot. A lot's been made of his last couple of fights where he hasn't been getting stoppages. Um, and I like I like what he said about. Um, just like what he said, what he said when I when I was coming up and I was knocking all these guys out, I thought I was invincible and I could be there. I could be the, I could be there, but I could conquer the world. But I realized that this is now a process, and boxing probably more than any other sport uh, is a process in which you need to take every every uh, you take you take every step 
as it comes, you know, you don't rush things. And, and, and Ryan's, Ryan's, done a, Ryan's, Ryan's doing a good job. I, I'm sure Golden Boy is going to look out for him because uh, Oscar, De Ho Oscar De La Hoya uh, sees tremendous potential in him. Oscar De La Hoya has even went as far as to say that this guy is the most important signing he has made for Golden Boy promotion since he signed Canelo, which is pretty damn big. So I don't know. For me, I think Ryan has skills, but uh, the jury's still out. You know, you can look as good as you want against these guys. Um, I think he has the tools. I think he's got the right mindset now. Um, and we'll wide away and see how he grows. Um, so that, yeah, that, 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 that's what I took away from him. It was composure. Um, he scored a knockdown in the first round. Um, and it was the way he scored it too in the first round. Like, 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 like they were in a clinch and he kind of just let his, he's got his hands free and he, and he showed his speed, you know, he goes on and on about his speed on Instagram and speed, speed, speed. But then sometimes we, sometimes when we see him fight with gloves on, that speed isn't as pronounced, but in, in that one instance against, uh, this guy, you know, he showed his speed. So that was, that was, that was good to see from him. And, um, just, yeah, good, good, good performance. You know, I expected a W I expected a sensational performance from him and he, and he delivered. So, you, you know, when you expect something and, and the fighter gives it to you, you got to give them credit because a lot of times we'll expect something from fighters and they won't give it to us and then we'll criticize them, we'll criticize them for not for them not giving it to us. So when they give it to you, you got to give them credit. So uh, I, I, that's my take on the whole performance against um, okay, Bradley or Rodriguez. Bradley or Rodriguez, man. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Bradley, Bradley Rodriguez. He brought, he, brought the, he brought some entertainment to the fight, though. Hey, Alex, what would you make of Ryan Garcia's performance against oh, uh, Bradley or Rodriguez at Madison Square Garden? <laughs> man. Unpredictable, man. Unpredictable. That's all I gotta say. Unpredictable, man. The, the man, these fighters, man. They're just very unpredictable. That, that that's all I gotta say. But it's gonna be all it's gonna be all popular because you know about the whole show, but showboating yeah, show and whatnot. Yeah, showboating goes wrong when showboating goes wrong. Mm -hmm. So yeah, bro. <laughs> but right. shout out to Ryan Garcia, bro. Shout out to Ryan Garcia. Good mm -hmm. poise. The uh, performance from Ryan Garcia. Fifth round knockout over Brawley Rodriguez uh, to close out his 2019 or 2018, heading into 2019 with four, got four victories this year. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, we'll see, man. I don't think he's going to be rushing into any big fights next year. So, we'll just we'll have to see how he, uh, how Golden Boy moves. And we'll be keeping that. We'll, keep, we'll, we'll be keeping an eye on that here on True School Sports. And, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Ryan Garcia's performance and who do you, who do you think you should fight next in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe. And, like I say in every single video, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. We, we're, we're just we're just some kids yeah. from Dania, okay? Yeah. So until next time, take care, guys.